Hello everyone, I am here in my new apartment. This place is still pretty wild. It's wild back here. I still need a couch. I still need a lot of things. Still a lot of things to put away, even though I've done like half of it already. But yeah, today we are gonna work on my bathroom. It is not the fanciest bathroom around, um, but... I think I can do some things. Because I'm buying all this new furniture, I really want to minimize how much I'm spending on decor. I feel like I've spent so much on decor for so long, but now I really want to get a nice couch. I want to get some nice new furniture. So the plan for today is redoing or decorating the bathroom, making it look really great, but not spending a lot. I think I want to spend like under a hundred based on like what I already have and what I need. Mind you, I do have a lot of things already. I can assure you that you probably have way more things than you think you have. So um, there are a lot of things that you can use in your bathroom and use it to make it look nice. You can reuse and repurpose a lot of things. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe. And also you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I like to talk to you all, get to know you, see your stories and all. So go ahead and find me on Instagram. So here's the bathroom. It's very plain. I mean, there's not much to it. There's a little cleaning I have to do. The one plus we have here is the countertops are pretty nice. We have that light fixture, which I was going I was thinking of changing that out, but I think I'm gonna wait until I find something that fits with both. We have a mirror, big mirror. I'm gonna start with kind of what the plan is. I was thinking of adding shelves here, but I actually, because I enter my shower through this side, I think I'm gonna put the shelves here. It also allows me to put the items that I use like on a daily basis and they're easy reach over here. There'll be three shelves that I put here and then I will put a piece of art here and I had some hooks that I bought which I will use for towels. I also am not a big fan of these like sliding glass doors. They date the place a little bit. Although they're really clean and they're, they work very well, I am gonna still put a shower curtain. You see how here um, you can see all the products that I use and it's kind of like not my favorite thing. So the main idea for this project is that I would not buy many things. I will take items that I already have and reuse them in this space. Of course, if you don't, if you're just moving out or anything like that, then you probably don't have these items and will have to buy them. The idea is inspiring you to reuse a lot of the stuff you already have. I did buy a couple things. The first thing I bought was this Casa Luna waffle shower curtain. I did have one previously that um, was from Target and it shrunk. So when I washed it. So this is already washed for softness and it shouldn't shrink. There was there were others that looked like this, but the softness on this is like uncomparable to the others. Highly recommend this one. It feels amazing and it will not feel like a crappy shower curtain. It was $30. The other two things I bought are these bath hooks, which are by Hearth and Hand with Magnolia from Target as well, and honestly, like I was looking at the other hooks um, in the hook section. <laughs> yes, they have a hook section. And the, the other hooks were like $10 each. And so I went ahead and bought these because they were $4.99. And they're really sturdy, and I actually really like the design of it. Um, and I went with black and not like gold or anything because I do have silver as my color of my fixtures. And the last thing I bought was this trash bin. Um, and it's in a silver, um, it was $12.99 at um, Home Goods, and it has a little pedal. These are the shelves that I will be installing. And I've had these for many years. I get so many questions about these. And these are actually DIY. I made these. I'll explain it really quickly. This is like a solid pine that you can buy at like Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, and this is all one plank, so this will be like a whole plank. I get it cut into equal, um, equal 
lengths. And you can go with, I think this is like the seven inch. Um, you can go with the five and a half inch. You sand the sides, you sand it out, you stain it, um, and then you add some L brackets. Um, and these are ease, so easy to hide behind items. Make sure that these are evenly spaced. And you install one at a time, make sure it's level, mark out the holes where they should go, and then put some anchors, and then you can screw them on. Each one of them looks a little different. I'm seeing this one has like a little mark here, and it has some like weird grain. So I don't really like that. Um, I really like the grain on this one. And I prefer this one as the top of the grain. So I'm gonna place this one at the bottom, because that's where the, like that one, the grain's gonna show when you're standing. And then for example, this one, since it has the weird grain, I'm gonna look at the backside, and it has a beautiful grain on the backside, right? So that's gonna go all the way at the top because that's the grain you're gonna see from down here. So just a little tip when you're making these. And this one's in the middle. Um, I really even like that little knot there. So that's what you will see really when you see it in that little knot will be what you see. And as to what anchors I use, um, you'll think I'm a little crazy, but I actually saved these. When I moved, I had to take the anchors out, of course. So I saved them. These are the best anchors. These are like metal ones and they have a screw like end. So once you make a hole, you can actually like just screw this in with like a screwdriver. You don't even need a drill really. They're very strong and they're reusable. Okay, so trying to figure out how art should be hung. So if you can see from the edge of this door when it's open to the end of the shower, it's longer. This is longer than from the edge of this countertop to the doors. So you might question like, should I center it from here over? And I think that would just look awkward. We've broken down the bathroom into three sections. So it's like this counter section ends then this part of it, and then the shower. So what I'm gonna do is find the middle of where the toilet is, which seems to be right here, like a little bit over, and kind of center this on that. So now we're, we're adding these bottom hooks. Sometimes when you're in a new apartment, it seems like they clean the mirror and everything. In contrast, you see all these little specks. This is alcohol and water, and so you spray it, wipe it all around, and this is like one of those blades, and you just kind of go all over the place, and this takes it all off. The specks are gone. we will be adding is this threshold bath mat. I really like it because it has like a weaving pattern, pretty durable feeling.
hope you enjoyed your time redoing this little bathroom. I actually am kind of shocked how nice it turned out and I'm excited to use it every day. <laughs> there is one thing I didn't get and it's this little, I'll put an image right here. I've been wanting this little towel holder for a while and I went over this morning to try and get it because it said it was in stock and the one that was there was like bent. So I, I'm i gonna just order one online. Once I place it there, I will be sure to share with you, maybe on Instagram. This just goes to show you that you really can reuse a lot of your stuff and you can make a big difference without having to paint or to change a floor. I did get lucky with the countertops, but the floors are like really basic and, and the walls are just basic white. Um, nothing fancy. I hope that this inspires you to do a little something in your place. Add some shelves, add some art, change your linens. The other thing that I wanted to highlight is that I, yes, I use a lot of white, like my white towel, my white curtain, white um, bath mat. Um, and the reason why I was really scared for a while to just use white because I was like, it's gonna stain. It is kind of awesome that you see when like a towel is dirty or you see when your bath mat is dirty and you can just bleach it you know that you are getting the cleanest towel in the house anyways i'm gonna run off there is still a lot to do in this place thank you again for watching don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram and see you soon